Hi everybody, it's Miss Josette and I am here with this week's Kids Club message. I am so excited because tomorrow is Easter. We have been talking about God's love and we've been talking about Lent and we've been talking about all of these important things leading up to Easter that I think is the most important thing in being able to talk about God's love for us. You know, back at Advent time, at Christmas time, we talked about God loving us so much that he sent his son to be born as a baby. And then we talked about Jesus's ministry and that how he started out as a baby, grew into a young man, into a teenager and into a young man in his ministry. And we've talked about those things. We've talked about his love for us ultimately ending with the things that he has done on Easter. Now, last week, we talked about the best parade ever. We talked about Palm Sunday. And with Palm Sunday, we talked about the Hosannas and the people being so excited to praise that Jesus was in town, that they were just shouting Hosanna, Hosanna, and waving their palm branches and laying cloaks down on the road so that Jesus had a, had a soft path for his colt to walk on. And that the soldiers were getting upset with these people praising Jesus to the point that Jesus said, if they don't praise me, the very rocks are going to cry out with praise. And so we talked about that last week of not wanting the rocks to cry out in our place. Well, God, Jesus continued through Holy Week to finish up the things that were happening with his ministry. He went to the garden and he prayed because he knew what was ultimately coming. And he went to the garden and he prayed that those things could be taken from him. And, he, and then we had the final supper with his disciples, which we sometimes call the Last Supper, which we celebrate on Maundy Thursday. And he had the final supper with his disciples where he told them exactly what was going to happen. And even when he told them, some of them were in absolute disbelief that one of them was going to betray him, that one of them was going to turn him over to the Roman soldiers for him to be killed and crucified. And that even then that they would deny him and deny that he was alive and deny that they knew him. He specifically told Peter that he would deny him three times before the rooster crowed. And Peter couldn't believe that would happen. Well, then Good Friday came. Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane when he was praying. He was forced to wear robes. He was forced to wear a crown of thorns on his head. He allowed wicked men to hit him with a cat of nine tails. He allowed them to put nails in his feet and hands and he was crucified on the cross. And he hung on that cross until he suffered and he suffered and he died on that cross. And the Bible tells us that the Roman soldier pierced his side and blood and water flowed from his side. And that was how they knew he was fully dead. And they took him from the cross and they laid him in the tomb. And then something amazing happened three days later on Easter Sunday. And so if you happen to be coming to church tomorrow on Easter Sunday, we're not having Sunday school, but there's still going to be junior church in the second service in our 1030 regular service. And in my junior church message tomorrow, because it's my turn, we're going to talk about some a really cool way of sharing the gospel. There's going to be a little bit of an egg hunt. And one of my favorite parts about an egg hunt is being able to get an egg and open it up and see what kind of treat is inside my egg. And so I'm going to open up I, Pastor Ralph helped me find some eggs and he got me some eggs and so I'm going to open this one up and uh, show you what's it I asked him for eggs I think we forgot to put something because this egg is empty this egg is empty actually no we really didn't forget to put something in this em egg it's empty because it helps to remind us about the most important part about Easter Sunday the candy is all fun the stuff that maybe the bunny would bring you is fun or any kind of gifts or whatever that you get is fun but what's important is the reminder of what happens so Jesus died on the cross on Good Friday and he was buried and on the third day of Easter Sunday morning when Mary went to the tomb to fix to prepare Jesus's body for burial, she went to the tomb and the big stone had already been rolled away and the tomb was empty. Just like this egg is empty. The tomb was empty because Jesus had risen. So I'm going to use some jelly beans to share with you the gospel and a fun, cool way to share the gospel. Now, 
I personally like to share the gospel using these five colors of jelly beans. The black jelly bean, the yellow jelly bean, a green jelly bean, red and white. I personally like to share these colors. But a lot of the jelly bean gospel prayers that we find out there have three additional colors that they like to share about. And we have purple, and we have pink, and we have orange. Now, each of these has a meaning that I want to share with you. So the purple jelly bean reminds us of the robe that the soldiers made Jesus, Jesus wear. They forced Jesus to put on a robe because they were mocking him, because they were saying that he was, if he was the king of Jews, and they mocked him and they made him put on robes and were mocking him as he since he was saying that he was the king of Jews. They were mocking him for that. And that's the same with them putting the crown of thorns on his head that was to mock him in their not believing that he was the king of the Jews. And then we have the black jelly bean. This black jelly bean reminds us of darkness. This black jelly bean reminds us of the sin that we all have. The sin that separates us from God and his and the ability to be with him forever in heaven. The Bible tells us in Romans 3:23 for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so this dark jelly bean reminds us of the darkness in our lives. It also reminds us of the dark tomb where Jesus was for 3 days. We have the red jelly bean. Now this red jelly bean reminds us of the blood that Jesus shared for us. The blood that flowed down from his body, from his body, the blood that he shed for our sins because we've got those sins that separate us from God and the only thing that can cover those sins is Jesus's blood, the sacrifice that Jesus chose to make in shedding his blood to pay for our sins. So that's what the red reminds us of the blood that Jesus shed. Now, in the jelly bean prayer that I have, it also has the pink that reminds us of all of the people who were crying and upset when Jesus died. And Mary, his mother was standing there. The disciples were standing there and people were very sad. All of the followers of Jesus were very sad with what had happened. And then we move on to the white. The white reminds us of the Jesus washing us white as snow when we ask for forgiveness of our sins from that blood that was shed he washes us white as snow he cleans us just as David prayed father I ask you to create in me a clean heart when we ask God to forgive us of our sins our hearts are forgiven our sins are forgiven and we are washed white as snow and then we have the yellow the yellow reminds me of the golden streets in heaven. The yellow reminds me of what eternity will be like, that God promised us eternal life where we can live and walk with him and Jesus if we ask him to be our savior. And so that's what the yellow reminds me of is those streets in heaven and eternity with Jesus. The orange one they have on the prayer that I had found. The orange one reminds us of sunrise on Easter morning. And to remember that on Easter morning, when they went to the tomb, that tomb was like an empty egg. Jesus wasn't in there. So on sunrise on Easter morning, you can remember tomorrow morning that Jesus was not in the tomb when they went looking. He was alive. And finally, the green jelly bean. The green jelly bean, some people say that the green jelly bean is to remind us of the garden where Mary first saw Jesus, but I don't look at the green one that way. I look at the green one because green makes me think of new life. Green makes me think of springtime. Green makes me think of growth. And that is what is really important in our relationship with Jesus. You see, Jesus loved us so much that to be able to get rid of the darkness that was in our lives, that keeps us from an eternity with him in heaven, he was willing to shed his blood so that we can have forgiveness, so that we can be washed white as snow and have forgiveness so that we can have eternal life with him in heaven. 
And this green reminds me of the growth that we can have when we have a relationship with him. The growth and the new life that we have with relationship with him. And when we talk with him and we study and we grow and we attend church and we attend teens and we attend kids club, that's what the green reminds me of. So I want to just say a quick word of prayer and thank you guys all for all of the study that we've had recently of, of Jesus's love and all of the Lent study that we've had. And I hope that you have a wonderful Easter. We'll miss you for Sunday school tomorrow. We hope to see you all back for Kids Club in April. And there's a couple extra fun events. Be watching for some of those things to be posted, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this opportunity to share about with our boys and girls and our grown-ups alike. Father, I thank you for this opportunity to use something that we see every Easter, the eggs, the eggs and the jelly beans, Father, to have something that just sticks with us and helps us to remember what you've done. Father, I praise you in the name of your Son, and I thank you for the gift that you gave us through salvation through your Son. Amen. Bye, guys. Have a great Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Sunrise Day.